Captain G.R. Gopinath founded the budget carrier Air Deccan and uh, later sold it to Kingfisher. He's now chairman of Deccan Charters, India's largest charter operator, and joins us on the line from Bangalore. Captain uh, Gopinath, thank you very much indeed uh, for joining us. First of all, where did it sure. all go wrong there at Kingfisher? I think uh, uh, he, 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 it was a runaway uh, uh, you know, cost uh, which he did not uh, control. I think this is uh, waiting to happen because it's not that uh, he suddenly contracted this kind of debt in last month. Uh, it's been building up uh, even from the days when I was the vice chairman of the company. Uh, uh, the, the cost went out of control because he believed uh, that he could create a, a, a full service uh, airline with first class and with the gourmet cuisine and uh, you know uh, fashionable air hostesses. So he has a great product, uh, a great service product, uh, uh, a great airline, a great brand, but uh, it simply is a uh, you know uh, uh, flawed strategy for India because it's very price conscious. You know, less than three percent of India is traveling by air. You know, so it should be obvious to anybody, even if you're not an airline analyst, that uh, to expand. You need to uh, you need to uh, uh, target the train customers. We have about 17 to 18 million people traveling by train every day, and uh, we, we had only 50 million tickets sold last year. So, so you will only be cannibalizing each other's passengers. And uh, uh, captain, captain, I, I want to just get to, I want to get to the, what is you know about the future of Kingfisher in a sense now because we have reports that Reliance Industries, Mukesh Ambani, could be here and uh, perhaps saving it, looking at it. We've got reports there at the moment. Now, what would it be in, in it for them uh, to actually buy a loss-making carrier? Yeah, I think, uh, um, you know, I don't think anybody is going to buy, buy someone out of friendship, uh, you know, because this, the, the debt is so huge. It's about $2 billion, you know. There's a banking debt and there's also the uh, vendor's debt. And, uh, uh, and, and right now the market cap is just $250 million. Uh, so uh, it, it's going to be tough for anyone to buy it uh, unless you know Vijay put some money from his uh, parent companies uh, to reduce the debt. Otherwise, uh, it looks very unlikely anybody will will, will touch the airline. But I think uh, Vijay can still uh, save it by quickly uh, you know reducing the uh, cash, cash burn because uh, you know this is going to snowball because you have um, lots of aircraft on the ground uh, and. Uh, uh, a lot of flights are cancelled, so when the flight cancellation is there, it's going to further add to the woes because the occupation will come down. And when you cancel flights, um, uh, the fixed costs remain the same. So the, if the bleeding will only increase. So the, you have to immediately arrest the bleeding and get into you know even one or two quarters of profit for the share prices to go up. And so I don't know whether uh, he, he you know he can do that because. As you know, the low-cost airlines in India are in profit. Uh, Indigo made a whopping profit of uh, $150 million la uh, in the last year. And uh, all at the expense of uh, these airlines, which are, uh, you know, have got a very high cost base and therefore uh, a high uh, fare structure. So he needs to, uh, like, uh, like AirAsia and like um, you know, Ryanair and EasyJet, uh, uh, for, the, for the domestic market, they need to have one type of aircraft, uh, you know, single aisle, um, either a 320 or a 737-800, and ruthless cost cutting and expand the market because when you expand the market, you can add more aircraft. When you add more aircraft, you make a lot of money on the sale and lease back. You can make about, uh, plus you'll have a cash flow up front because in the low cost uh, model, the money comes up front. So a lot of this cash, this is more a question of cash flow now because, you know, the airline will collapse otherwise because oil companies and the airports uh, are, are not ready to uh, give any more credit because uh, he has overstretched himself because the, the oil companies are themselves looking for money. So I think so he has to immediately figure out the cash flow. It, more than profit is the cash flow and if he can't manage the cash flow, the airline will collapse. Captain, uh, thank you so much, Captain Gerald Gopinath.